welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm super excited because I have another haul video. Now, I've got a lot of content that I filmed and need to edit and upload to the channel, and not everything that I upload is in order of how I film it. And this is a perfect example of that. Um, it's currently the weekend, and I got this haul in, and I'm just going to go ahead and upload it um, sometime this weekend before the other stuff that I have filmed. But anyway, that's not what you're here for. You're here for the haul video. So I've got a lot of acrylic painting supplies this time. This is mostly an all acrylic paint haul, and I'm super duper excited to share this with you guys. So the very the very first thing that I picked up is right here in front of you, this beautiful spectrum of colors of the M. Graham Artist Acrylics. Yes, I'm super duper excited. I kind of hemmed and hawed for a really long time on whether or not I wanted to go ahead and give these a go. Um, only because I love M. Graham, by the way. Their watercolors are my favorite. Um, I really love their gouache as well. I did an unboxing and first impressions on this channel and I'll leave that linked up if you guys are interested on the M. Graham gouache that I actually grew to love a lot and I'm going to do a full review really soon on. Um, but I've always been so satisfied with M. Graham's paint quality. I just, oh, these are probably so amazing. I can't say yet. I will give a very fair and, and, and objective review when the time comes. I've not even opened these yet, but I'm very excited to play with these. The reason that I kind of hemmed and hawed over it was because I have so much acrylic paint, you guys. I've got, you know, a full collection of Matisse, Golden, way too much Liquitex that aren't really my favorite. Um, but... I've got so much acrylic paint, I didn't need these, but I love M. Graham, and I've been looking at these for years now, and I finally went ahead and took the plunge and treated myself. So, the colors that I chose for my palette here are Azo Yellow for my cool yellow, Indian Yellow for my warm, Pyrrol Red for my warm red, Quinacridone Rose for my cool red, Quinacridone Violet, Ultramarine Blue, always have to have that, I treated myself to anthracrinone blue too, even though it's not a must-have. I love that blue. Of course, I had to get thalo blue, sap green, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and titanium white. Um, now, ordinarily, if I was going to get a set of paints, most of the time I'd go ahead and just grab the biggest white they had, but I did just pick up a couple large tubes of the Matisse's white because they were on clearance at Jerry's Artorama. And I do have a very large tube of the Golden's white, which is my favorite. Um, and who knows, this might take its place, but probably not because Golden's white is my absolute favorite. So, um, but that would be my recommendation for you guys in general is always get the largest white that you can because you'll go through it. Now, this tube, I got these from uh, dickblick.com. Unfortunately, Jerry's Artorama doesn't sell these. Makes me sad. Um, the only one that kind of came damaged was this one. It's like really crushed on the bottom of this tube, but that's really not a huge deal. I'm super excited to try these. I've heard some claims that they um, they stay open a little bit longer. I'm not sure if that's the case. I do have the Windsor & Newton acrylics, which I like a lot too, and they do stay open just a touch longer. Um, if you're familiar with those Windsor & Newton acrylics, they really are very good. And I notice that they, the, the fact that they have that clear binder, um, it's supposed to be a completely crystal clear acrylic binder versus the traditional one. I do notice it makes a difference, not so much in color shift wet to dry, but more in just that crystal clarity of the glazes, which I feel like gives it more of a, an oil painting look when I'm when I'm done with the painting. And I'm hoping these will have that too, but with more pigment, because that's the only shortcoming on those Windsor & Newton acrylics. I feel like a little more pigment would have been nice. And when you use M. Graham acrylics, um, or M. Graham paint in general, I can't say these acrylics, but when you use M. Graham paint, you're never short on pigment. So I really have high hopes for these. And I will do a full review on these. Let me know if you would like a first impression and like a swatch with me video on these. I'd be happy to do it. Going along with the acrylic paint theme, I did pick up, and I hope this is in the shot, this small set of heavy body acrylics by Liquitex Professional, this little essentials set of 12. Here's what these little tubes look like. So to compare to a full size tube of uh, Liquitex, you can see the size difference here. Um, instead of uh, 59 milliliters, you're getting 22 milliliters in here. Now I didn't need these. I don't know what happened. First off, it was an impulse buy. I had a really great coupon and a store voucher at Michael's. I think it was really more of an impulse buy, but I did recently just get a new plein air easel and um, 
I wanted some little tubes of paint that I could stock that you know that French plein air easel with where like I really wouldn't want to take these out with me because they're kind of precious you know and my goldens are way too precious and expensive I'm not as worried about these and Liquitex is a reliable brand of paint now I also do have um if you guys remember my haul video from a while back, um, I think like two years ago, I did a giant Liquitex paint haul and I had gotten like 44 tubes. It was ridiculous, but I got most of them for free because they were like on clearance 85% off and I had a gift card to Hobby Lobby. Um, anyway, so I didn't need these. I don't know what I bought these for, but here are the paint swatches. I went ahead and swatched those out already and I do intend to do a review on these paints. They swatch fine. They are very heavy body like the name would imply which I think some people would really like some people maybe not as much um they're fine they're really I, I'm just gonna go ahead and spoiler alert they're fine they're not my favorite paint they don't wow me there's nothing really exceptional or extraordinary about Liquitex for me um I don't think they handle very well in the Stay Wet palette. They tend to lose their body really quickly and get kind of soupy in there. They're better used fresh and I think they they just blend okay. I don't think they blend like as buttery as Winsor & Newton's or Golden's for example. Uh, but a little bit of blending medium would fix that issue and I don't know. They're consistent. They're a reliable brand of paint. Here's one thing I will complain about with these Liquitex paints. I don't trust their light fast rating. This is important and this is going in my review. The Napfall Red Light, which is PR9, their little tube had that rated as excellent. Um, it's not excellent. It's so fugitive it's not even funny. That is not a pigment that's suitable for professional artist use, uh, PR9. So I don't trust their light fast ratings. I think it's a little bit shady, but that's not what you came here for. But I did want to give you a little bit more information. That to me makes me not trust you, Liquitex. That, oh, that just don't sit well with me. So I'll be doing a full review on these paints, but I did just want to give you a little preview for now. And I have a couple more Liquitex products to show you. The first are these new um, Liquitex acrylic metallic mediums. I showed you the iridescent medium um, that I had gotten in a haul previously. I have the gold metallic and the silver metallic. I played around with these a little bit. I will say I was more excited about, I was very excited about these, but they kind of disappointed me a little bit. Um, I think for paint pouring, they're going to be fine, but they really don't, even begin to compete coverage wise with what a uh, gold or silver metallic paint could do and they're very very sheer so you know they're okay but I'm not like thrilled with them I also picked up the Liquitex Professional Palette Wedding Spray. Now, these two items are the exact same product, but there's one is I think the older label and one is the newer label. I don't know what happened how I ended up with two you guys I haven't even tried these yet so it's not like I loved it so much I grabbed an extra I honestly can't I'm a little embarrassed I, I didn't even realize it until I had uh, gotten the second one home that I had already had it so I I don't know what, <laughs> what happened there I did get one more brush by Ruby um, Ruby Satin, the silver brush. This is a Cat's Tongue number no. eight. It's larger than what I thought it was going to be, but I have all their filberts. I have a lot of Ruby brushes. They're my favorite, and I hadn't tried the Cat's Tongue yet, so I wanted to try this one, so I grabbed that. Um, the other thing that I went ahead and picked up, this is actually a repurchase for me. I'm a little bit afraid to bring it into the shop because I know there's going to be a lot of glare. This is the Painter's Pal Stay Wet Palette. So here is that. There's packaging all over it. And I picked up the corresponding palette paper. I have pretty much all the uh, Masterson Stay Wet Palette. Here's the one that I already currently own. I've got the large rectangular one. I have the little handy palette and I have this one. This one's my most used and my favorite one. I've had this for almost 10 years now and you can see probably, hopefully it'll show up on camera, how many times I've tried like melting the plastic and using hot glue to fix it. The plastic doesn't last forever and it did just crack again on this corner. The, the plastic had become kind of brittle and it kept cracking and breaking. And so, um, 
you know, you need it to be airtight in order to make it work as a stay wet palette. And these are must haves for me when painting. It did last a really, really long time. And I probably could have fixed that edge and gotten a little bit more out of it. But this is really starting to crack and come apart bad. So I use it a ton though. And I'm rough on it. So I will say I love these. I don't want to paint acrylic without these. And I'm so glad to have a new one. And one more thing that I wanted to show you. I don't know if I uploaded this already by the time that you're seeing this video you're watching now but several weeks back I picked up the Liquitex Professional acrylic gouache and I did film a first impressions and kind of um, swatch with me unboxing type video not a review but just an unboxing first impressions and I really enjoyed these um, I thought they were they were pretty nice and I saw a world of possibilities here so but the only color that it didn't come with was quinacridone magenta and I really missed it so I picked up a quinacridone magenta to add to my stash and you can see these sets here the difference in size is um, these are just under an, uh, three quarters of an ounce the little ones that come in the set and these are two fluid ounces honestly I wish they would sell the um, smaller bottles because two ounces is a lot of gouache you know um, this is a traditional gouache tube at 15 milliliters this is a lot of gouache it really seriously is um, and so these would just be perfect I'd love to especially if you already have some gouache you know these would just be perfect if you could buy them individually but you can't you have to buy the full size which wasn't bad I went in there with a coupon and you know uh, it probably used a voucher or something, but I, I, I got this from Michaels, by the way. And one thing I want to draw a little attention to while I have you is the consistency with the M. Graham brand of paint. Um, this is their acrylic paint tube. This is their watercolor in Azo Green. And this is Artist Squash in Doxas and Purple. The color doesn't matter. But just the consistency, whether you're getting their oils, their acrylics, their gouache, the, the, the packaging consistency is really a beautiful thing. So I just wanted to draw a tiny bit of attention to that. These are the two fluid ounce tubes, but I did notice, I think they had six ounce tubes uh, were the larger ones but I'm super excited about these let me know if you guys would like to see a first impressions swatch with me kind of video or if you'd rather I just skip it and um, swatch it on my own time and come back at you with a full review after I've done some paintings with them but I'm really excited to try M. Graham acrylic. I don't know what I'm anticipating will be drastically different than the other luxury brands uh, of acrylic paint that I have and that I've tried. But, you know, they all have their different characteristics. Like, um, Golden, I think, is probably the Rolls Royce of acrylic paint. But one thing I don't necessarily always love about those is that they do tend to have a lot of gloss added to them. Um, Liquitex for me is just kind of okay. It's reliable. It's consistent. Um, but, you know, it, it's just kind of okay. I don't think they blend the best and I don't really, they're just not my favorite. Um, Matisse tends to have the thickest texture um, and a lot of pigment and I like that. And the Winsor & Newton they really, there is something a little bit extraordinary about those. They might not be everybody's paint, but I feel like those paints really just wanted to blend. Um, and and more than that, they stay open just a little bit longer, as if you added a tiny bit of stay wet medium in there. Um, so they, you know, and that, and that transparent binder, I really did think added some clarity to the paint. So I'm excited to swatch these out. I'm excited to play with them. I want to see if there's anything different uh, about these versus the other. I can definitely do some comparisons when I do my review. And I do keep my paint swatches. Um, so I can show you like side by side the differences between Matisse and Golden, Liquitex and Graham. If you guys are interested, just let me know if you'd be interested in that. Also, if you have any thoughts thoughts about this Liquitex palette wetting spray. I hear good things. I hear there's a lot of ways that you could use it. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks for me in the comment section or any information about this product because I originally bought this to keep my paints wet a little bit longer when I was out plein air painting but I also hear you can spray it directly on the canvas and then paint into it to get better blends. I could be wrong about that. Let me know if you know. Oh one more thing I picked up before I let you go um, and these are going to be um, 
in the packaging they're going to be reflective so I'm sorry about that I grabbed a couple more palette knives this one came from Hobby Lobby the create a color um, look at that giant palette knife look how big that is I love that compared to like you know my standard size and then I got like kind of like the Bob Ross style from Artist Loft and this one is a flat palette knife. I actually got two of these because I really enjoy mixing my paint with these. These are a soft brand. Um, very good. I can honestly recommend them. Um, the Create Color seems fine too. I think these are better than Liquitex. Um, genuinely. I was not pleased with my Liquitex palette knives. I thought they were really flimsy just kind of bend too easily and I just think they were overpriced. I didn't think they were so great. But that's it for today's haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Leave me a comment and as always, have a great day, a blessed day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!